Today on Clubhouse Gas, we're at the Georgia Dugout Club's Coaches Conference, and we had a chance to catch up with some high school coaches and ask them a couple of questions. And today, we're going to be talking about the wood versus metal issue. In particular, how would wood bats change the high school game? It's a very interesting show, so stay tuned to Clubhouse Gas. <laughs> Uh, this song is called Opinion. It doesn't make as much of a difference as a lot of people believe. I think it would be a pretty big impact. Uh, but I don't think it would be a big deal for the kids. Uh, wooden bats would uh, definitely change the game a lot. They would, uh, I think it would slow it down a lot. Uh, go a lot quicker. It would slow it down. Definitely uh, move the game along faster. Awesome from a coaching standpoint. We get to coach again. We start hitting and running more. We start bunting guys up more. Um, there's a tendency sometimes when you should bunt and you're kind of like, well, you know, if he gets the ball up, he might hit one out. So from a coach's standpoint, it would be fun. Uh, we hit with the wooden bat at practice. The only time we use aluminum bat at St. Francis is during the ball game because it teaches you the correct way to swing the bat. As far as using your hands, getting the bat out front, uh, I would love being an old professional baseball guy. I'd love to see wood bat. It would, uh, you know, you wouldn't have the big time home runs that you see now and everything. It would slow it down. People would uh, be bunting a lot more. Um, but everybody would be on the, you know, same level. It'd be all equal. Um, I'd love to see that. When I first started playing, that's what we had was wooden bats. And uh, if everybody's doing it, then, you know, nobody has an advantage. Uh, go a lot quicker. Uh, but it wouldn't be too big of a, I really don't think it would be a, a big deal because the, the bats are so expensive now that all the kids use uh, the wood bats in the cages and, and for a lot of the BP and, and a lot of the summer tournaments are, are uh, wood bats anyway. So uh, be a little bit cheaper, and, uh, but I don't think it would be a big deal for the kids. The thing about wood bats, uh, uh, you're not going to see as many balls fly out of the park. Uh, uh, Maybe, maybe there would be a better transition into the pro level and that type thing if, if kids were using it on a daily basis, but I think it would be a pretty big impact uh, as a change in the game if we had to go to wood bat. Uh, pitching would dominate. We play in wooden bat tournaments in the summer, and instead of 10 to 5 games and you know, 13 to 8 games, you know, you're going to have 3 to 1, 4 to 2 games. You know, you just the kids, I mean, they can hit wooden bats just as good as, as aluminum bats. It just goes a lot further. and. You know, they can fist the ball out there. Um, I've had the displeasure of using wooden bats, and if you, if you don't get the fat part of the bat or the fat part of the ball with a wooden bat, you know, you're going to hit a weak ground ball, a weak fly ball. With an aluminum bat, you can get away with a cheap swing and a cheap hit. So I think that uh, pitching would certainly dominate that. Uh, wooden bats would uh, definitely change the game a lot. They would, uh, I think it would slow it down a lot. I, kids are going to have to learn to hit a, different, a totally different way. Um, I think aluminum tends to um, allow for a lot more uh, mistakes in a swing, um, but it's going to slow the game down a lot. Kids are going to start throwing inside more uh, pitching wise, so I think it will definitely uh, uh, change how the game's played, how the game's coached, and you know, you won't have as much. Kids are going to have to get stronger, but I think that will benefit the game you know, as far as strength wise. If they uh, disallowed aluminum bats, it really wouldn't change the danger factor that much, believe it or not. I know a lot of people argue that the ball comes off the bat much faster, but truly the game would change just because it would, it would change the scope of the coaching in the sense that you need, would need to play more small ball because kids at this age don't have that strength to really drive the ball as deep as, as a ball jumps off an aluminum bat, so you'd have to play strategically a different game. Um, you'd have to use a lighter bat. Uh, of course, there's a cost quotient involved there, which we wouldn't get into, but I really think the biggest argument is about the danger factor and I truly don't think it is that much of a difference as far as the danger factor is concerned. I know that's probably going against the norm but I really think that it doesn't make as much of a difference as a lot of people believe. I think it would be exciting. I'm, I'm biased but uh, personally for wood bats I think that's the way baseball uh, was intended to be played to begin with. Uh, I know cost is a factor but to tell you the truth with the, uh, the way aluminum bats are going these days the price is just continuing to skyrocket and it you know, I, I don't see any end in, in sight. Um, I think wooden bats would definitely uh, move the game along faster. I know the kids are, uh, you know, would, would have, a, have a tougher time getting the stats that they, uh, that they want or, or think they should get. But, you know, if they're going to go, I mean, for the elite ones that are going to play professional baseball, they're going to have to play uh, with a wooden bat. 
So I say go ahead and let's do it. Uh, let's do it now. We can move the fences in or whatever it takes, but let's go ahead and play with the wooden bat. It's the way baseball should be. That's going to do it for us today. We really pre appreciate the coaches hanging out with us and your time. We hope to see you right back here next time for another great edition of Clubhouse Gas.